is cooking with a key keeper tonight. I was down at Dollar General in my town, and they had these things on sale, little pizza doughs about seven inches across, and it was like two for four to buy a pack of pepperonis and a pizza thing and only pay four bucks. So I just thought I'd make a quick little video on a, making a pizza. I'm either going to do a pepperoni one and a cheese one, or just one or the other. Anyway, once the sauce is all squirted out onto the pizza, I'm going to take the spoon and just evenly apply the sauce. Once I've got the cheese applied the way I like it, I'm going to take the little pepperonis and I'm just going to put them on in no certain pattern. Just all over the pizza. Maybe the outside. Do like a circle or something. I think that's what I'll do. Just come in with the seven pepperonis. And then, kind of turn on the wonderful power oven. And let it warm up. I guess I gotta set the time first. I say the pizza will cook in ten in seven minutes on the box, but I don't believe that, so we're gonna see if that's really true or not. Anyway, just open that up like so. Take your pizza. Be up you're not splitting it. And put it right there on the rack. And slide it in with the magic on it. And then you got about ten and a half minutes to wait before it's done. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Look at that. Almost put, cooked to perfection. We got about three minutes to go. And since I like my pizza's a little extra crispy, we're gonna stick it in there for another minute or two and let her go at that. I just checked the pizza and it's just done perfectly. So I'm gonna shut the power oven off. I'm gonna take this out. Look at that, perfection on a grill. I'm gonna slide it onto the cookie sheet. Put this back in there. Leave it open for a little bit and let it cool down. Slide that over a little bit and find a pizza cutter. I think there's one in here. Yes, the super cutter here. So we're gonna take the super cutter and we'll cut our pizza up later after it cools down for about five minutes. Then I'll have to decide if I'm going to make a cheese one or not, because a UXW Bill may want one. Just as a cautionary side note, like the sticker says, caution, hot surface. So don't go be putting your hands on this when it's cooking. And especially don't cover up the side vent points, because that's got to render cool the motor down and whatever as a heating element. Also, don't go touching that because it's hot. Anyway, those are just some basic safety tips to help keep you from being burned. It looks like super cutter has struck. Anyway, the pizza's all cut up and ready to go. And I even have a taker for the second pizza I'm going to make tonight. Bizarre Furhead is going to have a cheese one. So, let's begin to make his pizza up before he eats the <laughs> crust. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> anyway, once your pizza's been cooked and cut, it's time to sample the goods. Mmm. And I gotta say, the goods are very good tonight. Anyway, I've got Bizarre Furrier's pizza cooking in the oven right now. He just wants plain cheese. Get out of there. Get, get, get. Go, go, get out. Anyway, I would have to say this is one of my favorite foods here. Small mini pizza, just designed for one person. Not for it. Get out of there, Bizarre Furrier, I swear. He's terrible. Anyway, tell me what you guys' favorite food is in the comment box below. Bizarre Furhead's gearing up to eat his pizza, but he's being a little camera shy first. You know, take a bite out of that and tell me what you think of it. You do a horrible pizza job, you know that? You just can't cut a pizza right. <laughs> I like my poison pizza. Mmm, <laughs> taste that good stuff. What do you think, huh? Five stars? <laughs> Two? What? Two? <laughs> I'll pay you and make that into five stars later. You don't pay me enough. <laughs>